Hey guys, it's Mike the Wrestling God Smith, and you are watching All in Wrestling, the premier wrestling YouTube that focuses on Raw, SmackDown, 205 Live, NXT, Impact Wrestling, and many more. Okay, the purpose of this video, guys, today really is for last night's NXT. And you saw it, and I saw it. So, I think I'm making a little bit of a prediction here for next week. This is just also my predictions, too. Listen, I don't think Velveteen Dream is going to get the North American title right now because the one thing with Velveteen Dream, him being in the in the, in the, in the fray for that title, it, it's not his time. It wasn't his time before. And this is the thing. The dude should have been – he should focus on the NXT title. But I get the reason he wants to go to the, the North American title because I think it's easier to obtain. But it's not. Like I said, Valentine Dream being the way it is, like I said, the North American title situation, I, I don't know. Like, I do want Ricochet to retain it, but I don't know how I want him to recapture it. Like I said, I think him and Johnny Gargano, like Johnny Gargano is good right now. I think he's at a good pace. I think him being, like him having the titles, giving him some type of advantage. And I feel like with Velveteen Dream, him wanting the title on NXT next week would make a lot of sense. But it doesn't, it's, it's not really shifting the balance. It's just, it's kind of just pushing it another way. That's the point. We don't know. Like I said, with Elimination Chamber, it could be it, it could it could go a hundred different ways this Sunday, and that's the real point. It can go a hundred different ways, and same thing with NXT because like you know, and I kind of feel like okay, the Cash's Ono segment was stupid because him just coming out and being and complaining about how he's unappreciated and how the fans boo him. I would have been like, dude, we boo you we boo you because you suck. We boo you because you you're just jobber bait. That's all you really are. Keith Lee coming out and hitting him, which was cool and he had his little segment going around and the Street Profits came out and they had their tag team title match and you know, their tag team match. And I like how Oni Lorkin came out and the rest of the tag teams that haven't gotten a title shot yet. And then, you know, Undisputed Era, like those dudes, the, I just, I like, I like their dynamic. I really do. Because Adam Cole, like, being the guy that he is, getting Kyle O'Reilly and Roderick Strong and Bobby together, like, them having the, they're going to have the titles at some point. They're going to reclaim all the titles that they lost. Or they're going to try to sway Johnny to their side, because I think that's where he's going to end up going at some point. Like, I think that's how it's going to end up because, like, and I, like I said, NXT is not a bad situation. And I feel like, okay, Like I said, NXT doesn't really. They don't really do a lot of stuff. Like, they don't. And the joke is, it's like they're trying to find a way to get both titles. And I feel like the Undisputed Era has a part to play, just like War Raiders have a part to play, too. And the Undisputed Era getting the title back from War Raiders, it's going, it's going to take a lot of time to get them. And 
the joke is it's not imp- it's not impossible. It's just it's just madness because the War Raiders they the way they beat them. It wasn't even like it was a squash. It wasn't really a squash match. The thing the undisputed era uses tactics that nobody would really use in in NXT, which they're doing what the NWO would do, which was like attack from behind, group up and beat them up in numbers. You know, do the numbers thing, which. And I get Aleister Black coming out of nowhere, you know, helping Ricochet, but he, him having a title, like, like, here's the thing. Aleister Black getting the NXT title is like trying to get, him trying to get the North American. It can't, like, the, the, the double, the title unification has to happen at some point. Just like with SmackDown and Raw, it has to happen at some point. And I kind of believe, like everything else I believe, that... There has to be a sense of it, really. There's got to be a sense of wanting the title. And the thing is, the Undisputed Era wants all the titles they lost because they're mean. They're going to want the North American title. They're going to want the NXT title. They're going to want the tag titles, too, because that's what's going to make them stronger than ever. If they got Johnny, that means Johnny could just join. He would be able to have a title. He probably would have the NXT title. He wouldn't, they really don't need Bobby, because Bobby, like, like I said, Bobby Fish is a good guy, but he's not really doing anything, you know, he's like the, he's like the, he's like the enforcer, he's like the thug, the goon, the one guy, and nobody ever thinks, like I said, nobody ever thinks that NXT is like this, and this is what I mean, because like I said, with Elimination Chamber coming up this weekend, and I'm already excited for this, like I was excited for NXT last night, and I like that they're trying to go a little bit off the edge a little bit, and I think, same thing with the UK, I just, I think a lot of things that are supposed to happen will happen, and the one thing I liked was like, when they understood, they did the you know, the hand sign, they did the hand sign and all of them, like, all together. And that's what was cool about it. They did the hand sign and it was, like, undisputed. That was the cool thing. And that's the problem. Like, you don't have a, you don't have a faction that formidable. They can take on anybody and don't feel threatened about taking on anybody. And this is what I've been reading from, like, press conferences and PW Ninja, and, you know, Wrestle Talk, Wrestle Zone. You know, Dave Meltzer, this, you know, Dave Meltzer and, and Jim Cornette and all these other guys. And I feel like, okay, I feel like there's a lot of problems. I feel like they, they don't, they, they're trying to do so much at a point. Like I said, it feels like at some point, NXT is going to want to jump the box. And meaning that the room, like the, them going to Fox is not going to happen. Like SmackDown going to Fox won't happen because the thing is like, oh, if we get the brand, if we, if we get the brand split, it's going to work. No, it's not going to really work. And this is what I mean. Like, everybody in NXT has a shot to get something. Bianca Belair has a shot to get the women's title. So does Kyrie Sane. And that's the point right there. They don't have a lot of people getting one idea or one title. And that's the thing. The women's, like I said, the women's division on that on that show, on that brand, is amazing. And I feel, like I should feel at some point, that they don't really try to get the they don't really try to get the brand to work in its favor, meaning that everything is actually working out for its favor, but it's not really working for its favor. It's kind of just like you know, that's what I'm saying. The street profits are just like they got no story, just like only Lur- only lurking in Birch and Danny Birch, like they have a story, but they kind of don't. They're just they're just there. They're just running around with no story. And that's the thing with, and like, that's the thing. Like, I can see them trying to go against War Raiders and trying to beat them. I can see them doing it, TM61, Heavy Machinery. I can see them going at them a couple of times. But that was the thing I couldn't understand, right?
And people don't never think that maybe... Because like I said, the War Raiders have to be dominant and they need a team to be dominant against. Undisputed Era is that team. Like, they can't... They only beat them... They got lucky getting the titles from them. Because the thing is, like I said... Once they come back and they they're gonna they're gonna go after the War Raiders. They're gonna go after the War Raiders next week. They're gonna do it at some point. And that's what I mean. NXT tag team is like, okay, Street Profits could be NXT champions. They could be NXT champions if they wanted to, but they don't. They could be NXT tag champions. It's just that with them there's no there's no storyline. Bianca Belair, them getting a title, them getting a championship, you know, her getting a championship. Get them, like I said, them, her getting a title shot. And that's the thing with Bianca Belair. Like, I see her getting a title, like, her getting the women's championship once Shayna goes to the main roster. That's when she'll have it. Like, how Ember got it, like, once Asuka left for the main roster. Like, that's the point. Shane is going to drop that title when she goes to the main roster at some point. And that's the thing. Because we don't really get... We don't really get that. And that's what I mean, like... The title was... The t- here's the thing. The title is not going to drop unless somebody's going to the main roster. And like I said, Velveteen getting the, the North American Championship at this time before a pay-per-view or before a, a takeover... It's not, because it's not really going to change anything. He deserves a title. He deserves a championship. He he deserves one. But I don't, what I don't understand. Like I said, they don't really do... A lot of different things. And him becoming like him becoming North American championship, him becoming North American champion is is not the time. It's like the it's gonna like NXT's gonna have a paradigm shift because it always seems to have one at takeovers because that's what determines everything. It's kinda like the luck of the dice or pretty much like a it's like a coin toss. Because the thing is, even with Elimination Chamber coming this Sunday, it's gonna be a fight. It's gonna be a match. That's the point. We don't know. Like I said, we don't know. We don't know how it can go down. And that's the thing. Elimination Chambers like the... Elimination Chamber is the end all to be all before WrestleMania, before Fastlane, but that's like the deciding factor. Like I said, so many people can get a title shot right now, and so many people can get the World Heavyweight title, just like somebody in NXT can get the North American or the NXT title. It's like the 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 factor, right? The de facto moment. Oh, Velvet Team getting that title is if Johnny would be like, yo, I don't want the Union of American title. I'll go after NXT or drops it or vacates the title, which he's not going to do. He's not. He won it. He's not going to. He's not going to drop that title so easily. And this is what I mean for next week. I feel like I really think Johnny's going to retain. He's going to have at least a five time title run. Until the next takeover. Until they put him in some situation where Ricochet and him, Ricochet, Velveteen Dream, and Adam Cole get a shot. It's going to be a Fatal 4-Way, like Elimination or Battle Royale for the Fatal 4-Way. It's going to be something like that. That's the problem. That's the real problem. That's what they're trying to do with Elimination Chamber. It's like a Battle Royale. It's like beating the club. It's just, it's... The only difference is that now the World Heavyweight title is that biggest stake. That that raises the stakes. And now, like I said, everything was good last night. Like I really enjoyed NXT. I think I give that a, a that show an A plus right now. I just feel 
that certain people on NXT, like Cassius Ono, Cassius Ono, to me, doesn't really feel like anything. He doesn't really do, he doesn't really do the show any justice. The dude's kind of a pushover anyway, because the dude had a couple of shots going in. He had a couple of things going around. I don't really, I, I don't. I really don't want Cash's own old, like, for some reason, he, he doesn't just, he doesn't speak to me. The dude's really just trying to cause a problem, and that's the problem. He keeps causing a lot of problems. I don't know why. He just does. He causes a lot of problems. I really think he does in his own way. He causes a lot of problems. He doesn't really try to do anything. Just like EC3 being on Raw doesn't really affect anything because he's not really winning a championship. It doesn't really affect anything to me. I think it only does half the job it's supposed to do. And the thing is, he's like... There's there's no... There's no... How do I put this? There is no sense in him having a title shot. Because he never has one. And the thing is, for him to have a title shot or for him to go the way he goes, it's like he's not he's not doing anything. It's kind of like with Matt Riddle. Matt Riddle I like. I think he's a great mid-carder. I think he's going to do spectacularly well. I just think that right now, him having NXT Gold, just like Ricochet having NXT Gold, is going to happen at some point. It just has to, like, the, the spots have to clear up again. That's the point. Everybody who could have had something didn't. And that's my thing, too, because I feel like Nikki Cross being in, you know, being in Raw makes a lot of sense, but it doesn't make a lot of sense. Because Sanity's on SmackDown. I, I don't understand. That's the point. I don't see the point. I don't see the point, the money, the anything in it. And I really don't because it's, see, and I'm going to say this a lot. I'm going to say this word a couple of times, but I'm going to say a new word, actually. NXT is, like I said, NXT is just, it, it, it it's, it's ultimate. It's 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 like an ultimate version of everything because it's something that nobody gets the reason. Just like e- AEW is like the modern version to WCW because it's like it's a modern counterpart. It's just that everybody's trying to get a contract over there. And that's my thing. Them trying to get a contract and going to AEW doesn't make any sense. Because AEW is trying to do what the WWE is doing, but they can't make any money. Because they hire people at these really weird rates. And I feel like getting Chris Jericho wasn't the hardest because Chris Jericho would take any money if he... I mean, he would go to TNA if, he, if they paid him even more. He would go to TNA. He would go... He would Even Sheamus would go. And that was at some point, too, because he was going to go, too. But like I said, that's, not, that's neither here nor there. Like I said with NXT... Their their style of storytelling, just like SmackDown, is completely different from Raw and completely different, like I said, from completely different from Raw. And their style of storytelling actually tells a story. The rivalry actually makes sense. The teams actually make sense. And they balance each other out. The women's division are not being held back by the one person. That's what I mean. Because, like I said, and I think about this sometimes. If if Ronda Rousey lo- went, loses at WrestleMania and she leaves, that means everything they built up for her to be, everything that the women's division built up, is still going to be there. That's the thing. They shouldn't be held down by Becky Lynch because Becky is not the, the man that she claims to be. And she's not. But anyway, guys, this is, like I said, this is my predictions for NXT, also the review. But like I said, yesterday was just a solid, it was a solid episode of NXT. It was really good. I didn't, I am going to do a 205 review. I'm probably going to do that once I watch the episode of it. And then I'll, and I'll make another video tonight. 
I'll probably do, like I said, I'm doing an NXT right now, and I'll do another video about tonight. So you guys will have two videos to view and check out. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, if you want to, if you guys want to see more, hit that like button, smash that like button, and smash that subscribe button if you want to be on the channel. It's fine, guys. Peace.